Numbers, Scott. Numbers. What do they mean? They don't add up. They don't add up. Hello, welcome to London Players Guild. As you've seen uh, by the intro, the numbers don't add up and I don't know what they mean. So to walk you quickly through what's happening, I was trying to work out with Scott earlier today what are going to be the super rares because we know we're getting 23 super rares, we've seen only one black one. So we kind of guessed at the multicolor ones which should be after the black cards. But something then caught my attention as I was looking. I calculated how many cards we're going to have in the set. So to work you very uh, 60 commons, uh, how many different cards we're going to have in the set. So 60 commons, 30 uncommons, 18 rares, 23 super rares, SPRs are part of super rares so we, we don't count that, and 3 secret rares. And that adds up to 134 cards. Now why this is significant? Well, today we got black spoilers and we got this card. Toa. Nothing special about this card until you notice that her collector's number is 137. So <clears throat> it doesn't add up. If we have 134 different cards in a set and Toa is numbered 137, means we are expecting at least a few more cards in there. So maybe there's campaign rares in this set that they didn't tell us about. Would be nice. Uh, reboot leaders, maybe... Uh, the dragons, the shadow dragons would be uh, additional cards that we're missing. But either way, we're missing approximately 10 cards. Because other sets have 144 card, different cards. Uh, and we're missing here 10 cards. So I think that might be campaign rares that we haven't been told about yet. Does it change the fact that we don't have full information of, on what's in the set? Uh, it's a bit problematic. It stops us from predicting for guessing. I mean, we've seen only one super rare for black so far. Uh, and if we're going to go with the mindset of blue got four super rares, green got four super rares. So if red and what color am I missing? Yellow is going to also get four super rares. That's 16 total plus the black one, that's 17. So we're missing six. Uh, our guess here is that it's going to be multicolors. So one super rare for each multicolor, which hopefully, fingers crossed, are not unison cards. But we'll see when we get there. Um, so the super rares have been solved. Unless we're going to see a black super rare later on in the week and then everyone is going to have their mind blown because it's going to be an equal distribution of super rares in colors. Which I don't think is very fair. But beside that, um, yeah, Toa being number 137 also makes a different problem because that means that there's no campaign rares because campaign rares are usually later unless campaign rares are one for each of the primary four colors so then they would add up there and then they would move Toa further up in time but uh, in the numbers I don't know honestly I think they still haven't shown us something but I'm concerned that they're not telling us so early in when we already are supposed to be pre-ordering the booster boxes uh, the shops are already supposed to be buying them, so I think it's a bit unfair that the shops might be undersold on it based on the numbers or that there's no campaign rares or something. I think that we need a clarification on this. They need to fix the website. Uh, we have a nice uh, screen grab here, so hopefully that's going to be a point. But besides that, there's one more other pr problem with number of total type of cards. So, we have 60 commons, foil, non-foil, 30 uncommons, foil, non-foil, so that's 180. I'm going, the same goes for res, they're foil, non-foil. So when we add up <coughs> everything that's on the line here, we have a total of 252 cards. And they are suddenly missing 40 cards on their declaration. Which means that there's a lot more to this set that they haven't told us about yet. On one hand, it makes me excited. On the other hand, they haven't told us about that yet. And I don't know if that was omittance or if they're trying to build up a, a surprise or they were waiting for someone to notice. But 
I want to know if they made a mistake, a genuine mistake, because this is the set that showed that there's going to be 10 secret res, which we might kind of expect having an additional campaign res or something, but 40 of them? I don't want to believe that. Um, I don't know what to expect here. I'm just curious about what it might be. There's a lot of implication here, uh, a lot of missing details. I think that the best thing that can happen right now is Bandai clarifying this for us. Like maybe we are getting 40 new cards without arts, like alternative artwork for, I don't know, the Dark Dragon Balls, or maybe the Shadow Dragons are having a, a additional alt art or campaign res or I think everyone would love it if Shadow Dragons got campaign res. Or maybe we're getting some other cards additionally. It's an exciting set, but there's also a lot of questions of what is happening with the set and this one just got my attention. What do you think it means that we have the 137th card out of the 134 card set? What cards do you think are missing? Campaign res? Maybe something new? Or maybe they gave us the wrong total for commons and commons and res? Do you think there's way more cards in the set that they listed? What do you think this means? Let us know in the comments and remember to like, share and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching guys and have a great day. Hey everyone, Scott here. Thank you for watching that video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want to continue to support LPG outside of YouTube, I would implore you to check out our Patreon, our Facebook page, twitch.tv slash playersguild, and our own site, londonplayersguild.com, all of which are linked in the description below. If you can't, not a problem. We just hope you enjoyed your stay, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.